Hey everyone, welcome back. As you know, Lu Liang banner is open not so long after the Gang Chan banner opened. This rapidly changing schedule is causing us some concerns, but for now, let's focus on learning more about Lu Liang first. Lu Liang is a trace type unit and her normal attack skill 1 and skill 2 trigger follow-up attacks with the skill 3 button shortly after. These follow-up attacks grant a trace together with fortune. This is fortune bar which indicates the amount of fortune you have and is kept at 50. Skill 3 can be launched with the consumption of 4 traces. So let's check from her normal attack first. The normal attack consists of 5 strikes with follow-up attacks striking the enemy once and granting 6 fortune and 1 trace upon hitting. Skill 1 is simple damage dealing skill, with follow up attack strikes the enemy 3 times, granting 10 fortune when all strikes hit the enemy. One trace is also granted upon hitting the last strike of the follow up attack. Skill 2 is also a simple damage dealing skill, and follow up attack strikes the enemy 5 times, granting 14 fortune when all strikes hit the enemy. One trace is also granted upon hitting the last strike of the follow up attack. Skill 3 can be launched with the consumption of 4 traces, and all fortune will be expanded too. It deals damage and increases the wind damage of team for 16 seconds. Skill damage and wind damage boost are affected by the amount of fortune expanded with skill 3. The damage is increased from 40 fortune onward, and wind damage is increased by 0.6% for every 1 fortune expanded additionally. The ultimate skill deals damage and creates a lucky coin that follows the modifier. This coin increases the wind damage of modifier that follows and launches a joint attack every 2 seconds when the modifier attacks. This joint attack gathers the enemy around and reduces the wind resistance of the enemies. These effects from lucky coin are very helpful for wind damage modifiers and make Luliang a great supporter for wind damage teams. Extreme Dodge triggers zero time and grants 10 fortune. It also charges ultimate skill gauge. The basic combo is simple. Things to note is that if you cancel the skill animation, you cannot trigger the follow-up attack. And if you cancel the animation of follow-up attack, you cannot get the full fortune and trace. So you should not cancel any skill animation if you control Luling. It makes her take damage while using skills so you can try to trigger zero time before using skill first. Also, dodge will not interrupt the strike count of normal attacks, so use this to lower the damage take while using normal attacks. However, I guess she'll be mainly controlled by AI as wind team supporter, then you don't really need to worry about her control. Lastly, you can see her like skateboarding if you keep moving without dodge. Blue code solely increases the damage of Ru Liang and is not used much since she works better as a wind damage supporter than a main dealer. Yellow Code also can increase the damage of Lu Liang with more buffs than Blue Code, but supporting ability will be lower than Red Code. Red Code provides a good support for wind damage team and is commonly used. Now all teammates get the Lucky Coin, and the joint attack of the Lucky Coin increases the critical damage of wind attacks. So all teammates now receive buffs to both wind damage and wind critical damage, and reduction of wind resistance with Lu Liang's ultimate skill. You see that the ultimate skill of Lu Liang is quite important for supporting the wind damage team. And if you check the signature functor, it gives a lot of buffs on the ultimate skill, such as giving a longer duration for the lucky coin with further reduction of wind resistance of the enemy and more. So if you want to maximize the supporting ability, the signature functor is highly recommended. You can go for the new wind sigil together with the nivel sigil for ultimate skill. If you want to use Lu Liang as a sub dealer, you can consider Old Sigil or Moon Drifter Sigil too. But a supporter setting is more recommended. For instance, you can go for attack, ultimate skill damage and charge speed first, then critical rate and damage and etc. For work, you can check the chart on the screen. Lu Liang is used with win damage dealers. Now you can team up with Oshiris, Thor, or Mengjang and Lil Team. And in later versions, you can team up with Ying Zhao and Ling Guang too. 
So this sums up the guide of Lu Liang. She is a decent supporter who can improve the performance of win damage dealers. You can also transcend her to double S rank easily with the intel from the resource shop in the trading zone. So she will be a good addition to your win damage team. Anyway, I hope this guide has been helpful for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys.